In a year we've been saved by science, many behind the breakthroughs have been women. Catherine Janssen, one of the leading researchers at Pfizer, Kismikia Corbett, co-developer of the Moderna jab, and Professor Sarah Gilbert, creator of the Oxford vaccine. She's now been recognised with the Albert Medal, an honour reserved for minds like Marie Curie and Stephen Hawking. Whilst women like her have been at the forefront of saving lives, Professor Gilbert says there is a distinct lack of women reaching the top. What I think might be happening is that women are sometimes a bit reluctant to step forward and take on the leadership roles. And so if that's true, what we need to do is to give them more confidence in their ability to do that. And that's looking at things like mentoring and training and helping them understand how to, to progress in the career. Training like these science and digital technology students are benefiting from. This generation of innovators are empowered by their predecessors. I think with the women at the forefront, uh, the women who are getting the vaccines out to people, the women who have uh, been a key part of the research, it's definitely an inspiring thing and it's definitely something that is going to cause many, many young girls to look at them and see, oh, I could do that, that's somebody that looks like me, that's somebody that I could be in the future. The fact that we've all come together now and like women have come and rose to the challenge and sort of came up with these solutions without... Uh, despite the bias and despite um, the adversities they may have faced, I feel like that in itself will live on beyond the pandemic. Their classrooms are filled with leaders too. Shafina has founded a groundbreaking engineering programme using Lego. I do think it starts young. I think it starts very early in the home even, getting them to play and explore with, with gadgets. Women are the people that come up with those quick ideas, the quick fixes when something's gone wrong in the morning. So I think we need to capitalise on that. Professor Angela McLean is another guiding light on the national stage as the Ministry of Defence's first female chief scientific advisor. She hopes there are some positives to come from the past year. It would be such a great spin-off of this difficult year if more women were to consider uh, doing a STEM subject uh, for, for, for their university education uh, because they saw that there were all sorts of interesting jobs for women scientists. This snapshot of pioneering minds on the front line of science reaffirms the world is in good hands. Their gender is just an added bonus. Ashna Harinag, Sky News.